according to the World Health Organization, WHO, one in seven young people between the age of 10 and 19 suffer from a mental disorder that is since they enter university, students may have a disorder that makes it impossible or affect their academic performance. The present investigation is about the affection suffered by the students of the Tecnológico Nacional de México Campus Oaxaca due to the disorder developed by a different factor within the university. We start from the conception of the disorder in academic field is a prevalence and possible causes of it. It analyzes why this phenomenon occurs throughout the university. To what extent it favors or hinders the student's performance and what impact it has on the cognitive, behavioral, and psychological level. Some of the causes are students are afraid or even panic our school failures because they think that it not only provides low results and decreased performance, but also changes the perception they all have about the future since their levels of aspiration decrease. The only factors that cause this disorder for university students are study and academic demand Injury related to future career, social experience, life at the university, and economic pressures. According to an interview with a psychologist at the time, he was a student intern who was doing an internship related to the degree in psychology. It was determined that the institute needed a psychological care model. There were reasons such as the notable depression present in the students and the increase of the rate of alcoholism and drug addiction, among others. Therefore, free psychological care for students was established. Unfortunately, it was kept in operation for a short time. Apart from this information, it is only known as a rumor that there was another attempt to keep psychological help for students running. In order to gather information on the mental health of the students, we conduct a survey where it can be observed that mental health is a concern of the students and that the students feel that there is a need for some kind of help for this. But can anything be done about it? The answer is yes. For this reason, our proposal is the creation of a psychological help center where these problems are attended for the good of the student community. But it is not just a matter of putting qualified personnel in an office and that's it. It is about creating a natural plan where files are created to follow up on students who wish to be assisted and who need it. This is done through scheduled consultations. The professional must understand all the students and offer the best service. On the other hand, the help center must also have a disclosure. In an institution, not all information reaches the students, so it should be precise that this information reaches students and staff of the institution. Similarly, should be given a disclosure to mental health in order to ensure the mental health of students. Okay, the team proposed making agreement to support a psychological care process and formalize the links and collaborative action with the social and public sector. This agreement will be made with the private organizations since in, in the city of Oaxaca de Juarez. We do not have public institutions that presently provide care on the subject. So the organization will be mentioned and alternatives to carry out the agreements. The number one is CAPE, Centro de Atención Psicológica Especializada dirigida cuya, cuya dirección es Fuerza Aérea Mexicana eh, 717, Colonia Reforma. El segundo punto es el Centro de Apoyo Psicológico y Pedagógico con dirección Huerta Los Ciruelos 203. The following results students will we have the following benefits when attending psychological therapy. The number one 
if we have to feel better about yourself. Uh, number two, uh, empowerment in front life. Uh, uh, number three, uh, personal harmony and with others. A psychologist cannot the people how to live. However, he can him the many for effective personal and social change. See you.